what is up guys welcome on back to tk's garage and i have a bonus video for you guys today uh, it's gonna be a dedicated video on this car and, and no it's not on slime but we will be back to see this beautiful piece of art here in a few minutes but we have a full dedicated video on a fully put together police car that's right we have not had one of these. I have not had the opportunity to have my hands on one of these in a little bit. And I'm excited. Now, the damage is not easy. It, it is kind of kind of rough. And I don't know if this was a, yeah, this is, this is a Roberson County Sheriff's Department car. Um, and yeah, I mean, fender, rim for sure. Probably some core support work, hood. This is not that serious. I've seen this done before. Now this one doesn't have a key. This sucks. Um, this sucks. But here's one thing that it does have that I think is super cool. It still has these Wayland lights, right? It still has the siren, which is in insane. Um, the other headlight and stuff is like in pieces in here. Y'all be going hard, man. But look at this. It's still got the actual lights, the actual um, police lights right here. Take that left alley, take down right alley, wig wags. Like this is crazy. And I haven't seen one like this with all of the gear in a while. Now they're supposedly not supposed to send these out like this, but Copart doesn't care. It's not Copart's job for them to take this stuff off the vehicle. So they just let it go. And that's what's up. Huh. Guessing that's like this light up here. So what we're gonna do is, this is just a bonus video for you guys today. Um, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna come back here with my jump pack and I'm gonna put some power to it and we're gonna run through the lights and stuff and see if it works. Now this thing is supposedly missing its key fob. They don't have the key to it supposedly. But uh, it's not hard to get a key uh, made for it, you know. Or not use a key at all. <laughs> some of y'all might laugh at that because y'all know what some of my videos have been recently. But this thing is actually pretty clean. Pretty put together if you ask me, man. Um, just having the radio, the, the siren on here with the lights instantly makes us way more valuable. Uh, way more valuable to me because it'd be a cool little car that you could take to meets on a trailer and you could set it up and just turn the lights on and just let it sit and it's kind of cool definitely kind of cool now the damage i'm not going to say that the damage is not significant it is you can see the rest of the parts and stuff right back here in the back seat um doesn't look like this one had a cage did it nope but yeah this is pretty uh crazy and they had enough Cigarette lighters, boy, let me tell you. I don't know what's up with Sheriff's Department here, but I have one, two, three, four cigarette lighters, and a USB and aux plug. All right, another cigarette lighter, another cigarette lighter. Ah, damn. What the hell, y'all have everything plugged in via cigarette lighters on this thing, man? Whew. Wow. So you can see this is a 5.7 or a 5,700cc. All of the uh, paperwork is in here from it from the Sheriff's Department, which I think is cool. Their insurance and all that stuff is in here. Cool. Cool, man. All right. Well, there you have it on that. I'm going to put this stuff away. I'm going to put it back where it was so it'll close. Mm. But this is cool, man. Cool little sheriff's department's car. Still has the antennas and everything on it, bro. Like, this is crazy. I mean, they took the stickers off of it, but, yo, I would legit, like, I'm telling you right now, put this together and make this a show car. It would sit, and this is a newer body style than the one that you may have saw uh, on Auto Auction Rebuild's channel that came with all the lights and sirens and everything already on it. But this one right here, having everything right here, not bad. And I'm, like I said, I bet you, I bet you she runs fine. motor ain't even touched bro 
the motor isn't even touched replace the hood and to be honest like some of this stuff in here in the core support you can literally just push this out put another fender on there pull this out you know maybe replace this crash bar um and man this thing could definitely be put back together pretty easily pretty friggin easily if you ask me i think so let me know what you guys think about this one uh, in the comments i think this would be a cool little project and it would be something that I could put on the trailer and take to like meets and just troll, man. I could just troll with this. This is hilarious. Wow. Wow. I just can't believe they, they left it with the whaling on it and the lights and everything. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm legit shocked. I wonder if the lights are on the rear too. If they got the lights um, in the back dash. Nope. They're probably still in... The tail lights and whatnot though huh well let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments i wanted to show you guys this one and we have another one over here you know there's this one and then we have this explorer um, which is like a detective's vehicle over here which is also here from the sheriff's department but this one doesn't have any lights or anything on it I think these were like, you know, these are the ones where they can like put the suction cup ones on the windows. 35,000 miles on this one. This is a much nicer Explorer for real than probably what, than what the, they're used to using. I'm sure the detectives really appreciated that. Supposedly runs and drives. Runs like a champ. Sony system in here. Clean. It's clean. It ain't got no no lights or nothing cool in it though, so it's kind of like, eh. But that was with the one two that were listed that were here, and there's another one at the end of the line. I can show it show you guys that one. I think we've seen that one before, or you guys have seen it before. Um, and like I said, it's definitely cool. It's definitely different. But yeah, this one right here with the lights and stuff on it though, hell yeah, that's a positive for me right there. That's a win. Um, update on Slime Pack's car. Um, we are winning this car now. We're the high bid at twelve hundred and fifty bucks currently. Uh, I'm not stupid. I know that the bid on this car is probably going to get up to and around twenty thousand. It's going to be somewhere in that range, and I'm totally okay with that. You know, we'll push it up if need be. Like I said, it's a sponsored build, so um. I'm not going to have to spend a lot of my own money into this car. So it's just a project for us to put this thing back together. I'm going to convert it to a wide body, you know, get her done up really nice and pretty so that we can give it back to um, slime pack underscore 392, which if you don't follow her, you should go do that. It's right here, YouTube, Instagram, and she's also the same on uh, TikTok. I know it's dead from the last time I was in here. Yeah, it's super dead. That battery that was in here is probably shot. Or there's got to be a light or something I didn't turn off somewhere. But still clean. Like I said, the airbags and stuff can be taken out. I don't know if the dashboard's going to go back together or if I'm going to have to replace it. We'll see. But very clean. Now, if you, have, you definitely should go follow her channel because her new uh, purple wide body. I think it's hell raisin purple or something is clean man super cool so go go uh check out slime pack underscore 392 on youtube i promise you will not regret watching that channel um and then because you know we were just looking at the other police car this other police car is here which could be used as a donor to fix the other one right um now the thing with this one is it's not missing any uh i mean it's missing all the lights right they took everything off of this car it's a water and a flood, so it's kind of, uh, you know, is what it is. And this one's from Red Springs, same area. But, yeah. And you guys have seen this one before. I think this one was in the All Mopar uh, video uh, a couple days ago, maybe a week or so ago now. But, yeah, yeah. Nothing special, just a regular one. It doesn't start, uh, obviously. Obviously, it doesn't start. Um, cause it's a water or flood, but yeah, 
that's pretty much it guys all right guys there you have it just a little bonus video for you guys today sometimes i drop these five six or seven minute videos in between you know usually in the mornings uh before we launch our larger videos which are like 30 40 50 minutes in the evenings um if you like that if you like the bonus videos and you like the extra content let me know smash the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and stay tuned we have lots of more content coming soon uh, we'll be traveling i'll be running all around and uh, soon soon you guys will get to see a lot of stuff coming out of kansas i know man i'm excited to get back to the kc yard and see what's going on over there but anyway guys, anyway guys with that said thank you guys very much for watching and i will catch you guys on the next one